so I think this is technically the second one of these that I've made in my YouTube career, maybe my third, fifth, tenth, a thousandth. I like used products. <laughs> you could say that I'm a big fan of them. Um, I don't like how other YouTubers, especially in the tech space, essentially never talk about the used market because the used market is, in my opinion, the only place to buy a computer or buy any piece of technology. For example, in this video, that's what we're going to be talking about. But before we begin, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I tweet there angrily about stuff I don't like, and it's kind of funny. I don't know. I think it's kind of funny, and I, I know best because I'm hilarious. And trust me, I know better because I have a YouTube channel, and... I make videos. Nobody else can do this except for me. <laughs> Jeez, I'm losing it. All right. So why should you buy used products in 2019? Well, because it saves you money. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'm Scott with Techno Eclipse. If you like the video, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. I've made that joke before in a video. I'm definitely slipping a little bit. So there are a lot of reasons, obviously. The main one is price, and that's pretty much what I'm going to talk about because that's the only one that matters. I looked up something interesting today after Apple released their credit card yesterday. Well, yesterday at the time of filming this video, who knows when this is coming out. But I was watching that keynote, and I looked at the news articles afterwards, and I was reading them, and it was like, oh, Apple releases a credit card, yada, 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 and I thought to myself, I was like, Oh, that's so good. Apple released a credit card. That's exactly what America needs. They need another credit card because Americans are very, very good with managing their debt. Did you know that there is over $1 trillion in credit card debt in America alone? The average U.S. household has over $6,500 in credit card debt. $6,500 or $6,000? That's a lot of money. Yet, you have other YouTubers out there pushing new products specifically because that's the best way to line their pockets with some of your pesto hard-earned money that you don't even really have to spend that you, still, that you still do spend and then they make money from it and then they get sponsored and then we'll talk about that in a different video, I guess. So why should you buy a used product? Well, the pricing obviously is huge. I got a comment on a video the other day. It was like, well, I have a 2013 MacBook Pro 15 inch. It's like the base model, 2.0 gigahertz, early 2013, eight gigabytes of RAM, and I'm looking to upgrade because I think I can get a more powerful computer and save some money, yada, yada, yada. And I'm thinking about getting the 13 inch 2018 MacBook Pro. I think that's gonna be something that would be a good computer for me because it's thin light portable and I don't need the most demanding stuff, but it's relatively powerful and that's pretty much what I need. Essentially, they're saying they need four cores. And the four core that they would get in the MacBook Pro, 13 inch is an i5, 8250U, I believe. And it is a four core processor, don't get me wrong, but it is a little bit not great. I mean, it's good, but for $1,800, you're out of your freaking mind if you think that's a pretty good deal. Just because it has four cores, I might run my head into a wall because Apple's willing to charge $1,800 for a computer that's worth, let me just do a quick number crunch, not a 4K screen, only two types of ports, the keyboard is going to fail in a few days, i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, SSD storage, oh, I don't know, $800? So they commented this and I thought, no, 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 this is what you should do. You should go buy a 2015 MacBook Pro 15 inch, doesn't matter which one, they all go for about a thousand bucks, the one with the dedicated graphics cards go from a thousand to 1300 maybe and then the ones that are a little bit cheaper than that and a little bit worse are going to be obviously a little bit cheaper than that under about a thousand bucks maybe like 1100 so i'm going to say a thousand bucks because i know you can pick them up for a thousand bucks there are some for sale on swapa right now for like 800 i think so you could definitely buy them on there for pretty cheap and you can buy them on ebay for pretty cheap but it's a pretty cheap laptop we'll just say a thousand bucks all in because Nobody likes to say that they get good deals. So now we're at a thousand bucks. Quad core processor i7 with hyper threading should still be much better than that 8250U. Although no Thunderbolt 3, only stuck at Thunderbolt 2. But Thunderbolt 2 is half the speed of Thunderbolt 3, but still very, very fast. Even with an eGPU, you're going to lose performance, don't get me wrong, but it's like 20% performance you're going to lose. And with Thunderbolt 3, it's like 10%. So for the extra thousand dollars of savings, you could buy a new monitor, a new gaming computer, and you won't even need an eGPU because there'd be no point to it because you have so much extra money. But after doing all that now, after saving all that much money, then let's look at what the other part of this comment was. I want it to be thin light portable. Well, the 15 inch is a little bit bigger, don't get me wrong. So if you want a laptop that you could take around, but you don't really want to take it around everywhere, I understand. So what you could do 
is buy an iPad Pro. And now what you might be saying is, Scott, iPads Pros aren't the best for being a laptop replacement. And while what you say is technically true, it's also wrong in a lot of cases. A lot of people just need a basic machine that has a keyboard and can access their bills, Netflix, take notes, basic stuff in class, and then basic stuff out of school, but like the same basic tasks that you would do in a classroom setting. So the iPad Pro is a great fit there. So you could get the 12.9 inch iPad Pro with a keyboard and with an Apple Pencil, pretty much guaranteed for like 700 bucks. So now you've spent $1,700, you have a 12.9 inch 2017 iPad Pro with the keyboard, with the pencil, then you have a 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro with possibly the dedicated graphics card, possibly not the dedicated graphics card, either way a 2015 machine that Apple sold all the way up until 2018, till last year when they refreshed their new MacBook Pros, and while the standards are a little bit older on that machine, USB Type A is a very, very popular form factor still. Type C hasn't quite made it into the realm of being a very well-known port. I know like my mom and dad, if they saw that, they would they would go crazy. They'd be like, what the hell is this thing? And then you also get MagSafe, which I know a lot of people like. I like it, but I've never super been concerned about it. But I do have dogs and cats running around, so maybe I should be concerned about it. And then also they do have the two Thunderbolt 2 ports along with an HDMI port and a headphone jack. So you get better parts sometimes in 2015 than like a 2018, but also worse and yada, yada, yada. But you still get everything <laughs> and you get two devices and the two devices combined are twice as good as the, the one device that you would purchase. And if you consider tax, you saved about two to $300 and you have those devices still. So the reason you buy used is because you save a ton of money. I mean, there is so many examples of this. It's like buying new has its perks and has its benefits, but you shouldn't ever do it. <laughs> Maybe you should do it if you want to support the YouTuber that you're buying the link through, but don't do it. Screw them. They get sponsorships anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What I would suggest you doing is just looking locally, looking on eBay. The great thing with buying locally, at least that I like buying locally, is if you were to purchase a laptop, you could say, okay, let's meet at Starbucks and I'm going to test it out. I'm going to, I'm going to test it out for like 10, 20 minutes to make sure everything's working. And everyone should be fine with that because if they're not, then the laptop is probably broken and they're probably trying to hide something. At least that's what I've noticed. That's why I like buying used locally personally, because I get to try it out. eBay is great because they really love sellers. They really love buyers and they hate sellers. They treat sellers like they're second class citizens, even though they make up the majority, like if without the sellers, eBay would be nothing, but also without the buyers, eBay would be nothing. So whatever, it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, eBay loves buyers and really supports buyers and doesn't really give a crap about sellers. So that's good for you. If you're to buy a laptop off eBay and you didn't like it, you just return it. So at the end of the day, I think that you should always buy technology used. If I have to choose used or new, I would always suggest buying used because you get, you just get so much more for your money and you don't, you don't help with the problem. See, the problem is, is every time you purchase one of these computers from a company like Apple, Dell, HP, you're just feeding the machine that's going to in turn keep you broke. These companies aren't necessarily designed to make you a lot of money. Yeah, maybe an Apple computer will help you make money, but at the end of the day, the more computers and more iPhones and more apps and more stuff you buy from Apple, the better. If you don't buy stuff from them, they don't care about you and they don't like you. So at the end of the day, these companies are designed to try to make you poor because making you poor makes them wealthy and by nature, it's good for them, which is why Apple's releasing credit cards because, oh joy, they got a credit card, $1 trillion in debt. Did I mention that already? So at the end of the day, you need to just learn to be a little bit smarter with your money. There are inherent faults with buying used, but you could buy two used 2015 MacBook Pros for 800 bucks each and have one of them just not work at all and you'd still save money and get a better machine than the 2018 13 inch MacBook Pro, albeit a little bit bigger and you lose Thunderbolt 3. But at the end of the day, who cares about that? It's no big deal. So what are you guys' thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below? What are your thoughts on this topic? I would like to know what you guys think about this topic. I think it's interesting. I know every tech YouTuber essentially will suggest buying something new, but they're all corporate chills. So what do you expect? I think that there are a lot of benefits to buying new. Like you get warranties that probably won't cover what you damage your product with and you get the box. You get the box, but you can get that with the used product too. Um, see what I'm getting at here. 
All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.